Okay, so I'm back and I decorated uh, this, just the sides here, leave this plain, and then uh, I also decorated the inside inside here because I this part here is finished. So I just picked some cut papers that coordinated well together, and I just used whatever was in my scrap pile. So the last thing that we do here is uh, what you're going to do is you're going to kind of Hopefully you can see. This is going to be really hard to see. But maybe if I tilt it this way. Okay, so what we need to do is you're going to take your flaps and you're going to line it up here. But what you're going to do is you're going to take a pencil mark and you're going to make a pencil line right across the top here. And again on the other side. And then you're just going to take your scissors and you're just going to cut down that notch and you're going to cut a V this way and a V this way. And you're probably wondering why we're going to do this. And I'll show you in a second. The reason why is so that we could put one flap down here. Oh shoot, and I should have de should <laughs> don't decorate this flap first because what you need to do is you need to tuck this flap in behind. So luckily for me, I didn't like I just used my regular ATG gun tape, so I can still lift it up. So don't decorate this flap first. I thought I was being proactive, but I'm not. So uh, let's just do this right now. I'm going to take score pal tape off of the bottom. And take it off this top part of this flap here. So what you do is you Line your edges up, and you're going to press this part, this part flat to the box, and you're going to take this piece, I know this is really hard to see, and I'm sorry guys, there's not really a good angle for this, and you're just going to wrap it, you're going to wrap it around here, and that's going to give your support on the inside of this box, as well as on the outside, it's going to hold everything together. So then I'm just gonna press that back down, and then we're gonna just gonna peel this away a little bit here, just so I can do this side. And again, just gonna do the same thing on this other side. So again, I'm going to go up tight to the flap and then wrap this piece around so that that way it's on the inside of the box. So that gives it the hold that it needs to, otherwise it's going to lift away. So then we get to this part here and what we are going to do is uh, when we lift this flap when we lift the this 5x12 piece up, we have to hot glue in here. I'm going to explain the process because it's going to have to go pretty fast. We have to hot glue in here, in, this, in these edges. We need to peel off one side of this tape again because we're going to make sure when we lift it up, we can line it up with this 2-inch score line here. And we're going to remove the tape on this flap here so that we can again line it up to this 2-inch flap or this two inch mark here. So I'm going to remove my score pal tape first. Oops, other side. Alright. Now it comes the hot glue. And I'm sorry if this goes really fast, but it's hot glue, so it, you have to work fairly quickly. 
blob right there. So again, opening these flaps up. And I'm just holding that in place right now. I'm not gluing down the flaps yet. So it's going to hold right now. So I'm just lining that one side up and I'm just pressing the box to the flap. And again, I'm just turning it around. And I know you can't see my little mark in here, but it is there. And I'm just pressing it down to the flap. So then now that I've done that, these flaps are still open. I can peel these back and get rid of this Scorpel tape liner and then glue it down. I like no nails today. Can't do anything. I'm going to just glue that down. And now hopefully it makes sense why we didn't decorate this 5x12 flap is because uh, if we decorated these white flaps would be over top of our pattern paper. If you're alright with that, you can do that, but I'm not alright with that, so I'm not going to do that. Uh, so then, now this would be the part where you could go in. No, don't decorate that because we're going to do the same thing that we did when we get to the last pocket here. We're going to wrap around the inside, so don't decorate this yet. You can decorate this middle one, but don't decorate these side ones. So <clears throat> then of course what we're going to do is just like we did last time, we're going to take this outside flaps. We're just going to match up the corners and fold it nice and tight and flat. And again, make your corners nice, and then just wrap it nice and tight. So this is what we have so far. This is our second partition of our desk organizer. Um, so we're going to keep going, um, and uh, hopefully I can get this finished up tonight. Uh, so then the next part, you're going to need whatever is left over. So we need your 8x12, I'm just going to move this out of the way, you need your 8x12, your 2x12s, and your 2x5s, and then the rest of your cardstock. So what we're going to do is going to go to your 2x12s, you're going to get two of your 2x12 cardstock hinges, same as before, you're going to score them down the middle. And we're going to just cut the little notches out of it. And then get our glue. This is all kind of repetition. Once you get the base of how to put the box together, uh, the possibilities are endless. You can make boxes several different sizes. Um, if you've seen in my videos, I've made a few different varieties. One with just drawers. Um, one, I don't think I showed in a video, but I made just one complete box. It was just a plain box, and I use it to store my stamps in. And then again, so this is what we have right now. We're going to take this A512 piece and we're going to glue it to this. Same as we did before, making sure when we glue it down, we hold it up so that we get that gap. Split it up. All right, so we have that right now. Then we're going to come in 
And this is where it's going to get really hard for me to try and tape it. I'm going to do the best that I possibly can just because we're getting really long in the process here. So we're going to do the same thing as we did before. We're going to take this bottom flap and we're going to glue it to the bottom side. Just the same as we did before. We're going to make sure we leave a little bit of a gap just so we can throw some hot glue in there just for stability. And again, just sealing it down. I'm just going to let the whole works up. Just make sure I've got a gap in there. All right. Just flip it over and make sure everything's smooth on the bottom. All right. So then we're going to do another 8 by 12 on this side. Or, sorry, another 2 by 12. It's getting late at night. Sorry, guys. Same thing as before. Just going to notch the ends. And this one is going to get covered all the way over top because this is going to be our white top edge. All right, and then what we need to do is these are our four by twelve pieces. I'm just gonna move this out of the way for a second. We're gonna bring in our scoreboard again. And again, on the twelve inch side, we're just gonna score it out one inch. out of the way. And I believe that's the last time we'll use the scoreboard. So again this is going to get really difficult to see here because I'm working with really a really long surface here. So again we're going to come in here and we're going to center this on that bottom flap as best as we can. That's the reason why that one didn't fold very well because it didn't fold previously. So make sure you fold it. And again I'm going to flip it around and I'm going to do the other side. And again, just making sure I center it as best as possible, holding the flap up, and pressing it down. Alright, so I'm going to have to stop the video here, and we'll continue on in part 7.